all been waiting for and asking me and blowing up my stuff. Where's Shashi? Where's Shashi? There he is, boys. He is working for another company. And yes, I have not heard from him since he quit, basically. There he is. Old Sassafras. He doesn't even recognize or realize. Hasn't noticed yet. No, he's too focused in that ditch. <laughs> anyway, there's the update. So many of you have just been like, Bini, Bini, where is Shashi Fresh? Have you heard from Shashi Fresh? No, I have not, but now I know why. Found another job. No hard feelings. I, uh, I still think very highly of his work ethic. He's a great, great worker, hard individual, hard worker, but it is what it is. All right, ninjas, we just finished this yard. Got her mow. This is like super granny yard, but there's something new in the back. Dust. We couldn't really mow the back and probably won't be able to the rest of this month, I would say because of some serious work. You guys remember these shrubs that we did? You ready for this? Look at that. They're getting an in-ground pool installed. Oh man, this is gonna be nice. You can see right here how it drops right down there. Man. <sighs> goals you know i really want to do this at our house but we don't plan on staying at that house anyway so next house if it doesn't come with an in-ground pool what do you think mama hmm? what do you think mama ninja see if we have any more if i want to do it's too dang hot I also want to go look at some new equipment, possibly purchase some new equipment. Stay tuned. Ninjas, I never knew how handy that little blower fan has. I'm going to mount this to my trimmer. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was actually thinking. Right, straight up. Yeah. Wow. Is that full blast too? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. So Noah has been completely using this thing the whole time that we've switched out this rack. Speaking of this rack, this is the all new version three blower rack by Green Touch. And you can check them out, of course, at trailerracks.com, which is right there. Besides a little bit of nice little upgraded features like the V3, of course, but the paint is supposedly has, has been fixed. So we will see on that. And as you can see the difference, even with the trimmers right here, the fading. So why don't you go ahead and put the, uh, Husqvarna blower. Speaking of Husqvarna blower ninjas, where's it at? Oh yeah, go grab it. Speaking of the Husqvarna blower, it has, uh, the flex tube has finally come in. Come on, come on, hey. Little Yorkie. I like that V3, man, that's nice. <laughs> Love that blower, don't you? <laughs> All right, ninjas, finally cooled off a little bit. The sun has gone away. We got this new trimmer rack up. We also, I ended up replacing the tool rack over there. I tried to switch out the sprayer rack because they did send me a new one. And it's the same sprayer rack, but different holes. So I can't put it exactly where that one is. I would have to drill new holes. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna have to talk to them and see what's the deal about that. That's, that's crazy. I've never seen anything like that. But without further ado, let's take a look at the new equipment that I have pulled the trigger on today. No, I said bring the new equipment, dude. I didn't say bring the little uh, yellow jacket over there. That, that's just the regular Wright 36, man. Go bring the real equipment that we purchased today. My goodness. No, come on, man. Bring the equipment I purchased today. That's just that ninja mower. That's just that SG ninja mower, ninjas. That's all it is. By the way, if you're interested in purchasing one of these SG 
ninjas at gmail.com. I need those emails because they're all getting forwarded very soon to write. If you're interested, I need an email letting me know that you would be interested in purchasing one. Here we go. Come on, dude, you just don't learn. I need the new equipment I purchased today. What is wrong with you, boo-boo? <laughs> well, we know that. And here we go, here we go. What you got, what's he got there, what's he got there? What you got there, man? Oh, that's that Husqvarna. Mm -hmm. Thank you, No, I appreciate you bringing that. This is the all new Husqvarna 580 BTS. Now this was sent to me by Husqvarna. The only reason we have not been using it is because I've been waiting on the flex tube. As you can see, it's brand new, just came in and I hooked it all up. And so we will be using this from here on out and I'll keep you posted and what I think of it and what Noah thinks of it and just how it performs. All right, can't wait to see that nice fancy blower and a nice fancy rack. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What are you doing? Dude, What? that is the old 770. Go get the new blower. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Come on, man. You got the new blower? Yeah. What is that? It's the new blower, dude. <laughs> Go get the new blower, this man. Is the new blower. No, I know what you're saying. You're tripping, Nick. No, this I'm not tripping. Blower, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, it is the new blower. Yes, no, it is the new. No, Listen to what I'm saying. I'm, okay. It is the new blower, but it's not the new blower. But it is the new blower. <laughs> Whatever, Nick. Whatever, Noah. The all new Magnum Steel BR800C. Now this is the one with the pull start. I did check out this blower at last year's GIE. I really like the side start idea. Hopefully that'll work out pretty good. And as far as the tube goes, the tube is pretty much the same as the 600, I believe. Anyway, there she is. Bring the rest of the equipment. Thunder Pumper Tuesday, it's just perfect. It makes sense. Now what is that? What? Hold on, what'd you bring? I brought the new one, man. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is the Husqvarna it's the new. trimmer. It is the 535 LST Ninjas LST. And we will be putting this bad boy to the test. I got to replace the head. Still got to replace the head. Still got to replace the head. ahead and pulled the trigger as well on a FS91R. I have been looking at these trimmers for a while. I've been reading a lot of reviews online and also talking to some very good friends who have absolutely, absolutely recommended this trimmer because this is all they use. And if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about the one and only Dr. Real at DLT Lawn Care. Dr. Real, all he does is runs the FS91Rs. He stands behind them. I trust him. It is the most down to earth, raw as it can be lawn care channel you'll ever find. Uh, I truly enjoy his videos. Anyway, Dr. Real, if you're watching this, I took your advice. <laughs> Why are you giggling over there? Because when you said, uh, what? What? You said, uh, if you're watching this, it clicked in my head, I might be dead. <laughs> if you're watching this, I'm dead. <laughs> I watch a lot of TV, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Dr. Real, as I was saying, if you're watching this, can you please adjust this properly? Now we. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, Nick. I don't know what you want me to do, man. Hold it. <laughs> there you go. That's fine. Now we didn't, of course, put these uh, on just yet. The reason being is we're going to go ahead and put the echoes back until I get a chance to get the speed feed heads. I do have one, which is for this one, but I need to get two more. The Ace Hardware, where I got all this, did not have the echo speed feed heads. They had some 
other type of version that is a uh, steel brand but i didn't like it and i really wasn't familiar with it so i wasn't gonna take the chance on that but so there you have it ninjas i pulled the trigger on two fs 91 r's and can't wait to get the speed feed heads so i can put these babies to work but like i said i take your advice dr real you have been right about many things so far and i hope this is another one of them because that is all he uses and of course he uses a scabber but we're not going to talk about that that's okay he's still he's still a good friend all the research that i've done if you're wondering the fs91r is the closest comparison to a 2620 so to say as far as echo wise and the fs94 is somewhat closer to the 225 echo and i didn't like the 225 because it didn't have enough power but i did like the 2620s before i upgraded to the 3020s i believe and they are just a little too heavy so we'll see how these work out go ahead noah take them off please sir nature minute with noah i'm glad you brought that okay do you know that dogs have a uh, certain preference on music what yeah dogs have a certain preference on music yeah, they, they find joy in music just like we do so what is more of a joyful type of music for a dog well, you ain't gonna believe this, but uh, reggae. What? I'm serious, dude. What? For real? Come on, man. No, I'm, you, I'm dead serious. Can man. you can you give us an example of reggae? I don't know reggae. Like, I mean, I guess Bob Marley. Or yeah, there's some, some, some. Is that the only one, or is that like the top? That's like the top, yeah. What? But dude, like, what about cats? <laughs> oh, I have no idea about cats. I mean, I'm, I'm going to assume they're all like deathcore metal, you know. Metal, you know what I mean? <laughs> they're all evil. And... Don't talk about cats like that. Cats are good. I hear you talking about your lazy cat all the time. She is lazy. That. Don't get me on my cat. This is not about my cat. This is about the cats and dogs. <laughs> she does need a job. That is one lazy. <laughs> Anyway, dogs have a preference in music, Noah says. They also find joy in it. You can't forget the joy. Like, they yeah. find joy in music like we do. Noah, what do you find joy in? <laughs> <laughs> what do you find joy in? <laughs> Unspeakable. Do you like rap? Yeah. Hip hop? Yeah. <laughs> Hip hop. Huh? Hip hopper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a rapper. I'm just a hip hopper. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ninjas know that about dogs? I didn't know that. Did you know that? I didn't know that. No. Why didn't you know that? I didn't know that. I could have sworn you had a dog. No. What? What? I did. But I didn't know. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> I'm just. What happened to your shirt and your hands? T so tell us a little, real quick, before you head out. Man. Man, there was this one time. Yeah. At band camp. No, I went band camp. I never went to band camp. Okay. You're stuck on band camp. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm just a silly <laughs> goose. I know it's okay. I went to soccer camp. One okay. Time. Soccer camp. Was there lots of balls? Yeah. There's lots of balls. <laughs> I took his blower. Uh huh. The old blower, the yeah, 770 that hasn't been running for a whole year. <laughs> yeah, the one I've never touched. That's right, that one. What about it? I Get to it, the point. I took it off the trailer and it just, it done this, man. It just, what is <laughs> They don't work out for me. It's not that hard for me to just switch out just like that and go with something else. I will probably maybe sell the uh, Echoes, the 3020s, the new ones. There's nothing wrong with them. But I may also just keep them. Haven't really decided that. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's getting ready to rain. We're done for today. Tomorrow, whack a granny Wednesday. Whack some granny yards, ain't you? Granny smack you. <laughs> See you then, just. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs>